Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here in East Brunswick today and I'm hooking up a pool heater. It's a gas pool heater, but it still needs the ignition and that's what I'm here to do. So I have the option of wiring this for 240 volts or for 120 volts. I'm gonna do it to 120 volts because the GFCI circuit breaker is a heck of a lot cheaper than the 240 volt. Plus, like I said, the heat runs from gas, not from the electricity. Electricity is just there to start it up. Uh, so thanks for tuning in to this video and I hope you enjoy the show. See that? So there's two harnesses there, one for 120 volt and the other one's for 240. So now I'm just gonna plug in the 120 and we're good. So it's just wired in parallel rather than in series. That's really all that means. So you see here, I changed that module around it. It comes shipped as 240 volt connection and I wanted to run it for 120 volts, but unfortunately my head got on the way of the shot. So I didn't use the shot because there was nothing to see except the back of my head. So here I am just running some half inch non-metallic sealed conduit and then I'll connect it inside the panel and then uh, I'll shoot my nylon fish tape through the non-metallic sealed conduit and pull number 12 American wire gauge size conductors uh, and then we'll wire up the pool heater before connecting it to a GFCI circuit breaker. In case you were wondering, this work really didn't take that long. Um, I was there maybe two and three quarters hours doing all this work and uh, I'm waiting for the gas guy to hook up the gas to make sure the heater's working so that'll be coming up shortly so what i'm doing here is i'm putting on a 90 degree connector onto this side panel of the heater and then we'll attach the panel um, back onto the body of the heater here before we go to the other side and make the connections inside the heater uh, again, this is 120 volts, so I've got three number 12 all connect, uh, conductors. Obviously, I got a hot, a neutral, and an equipment grounding conductor. They're all the same size. The connections here are quite simple, just black to black, white to white, and green to green. So this panel was already there when I got there, the, I guess the pool contractor who either has a license or he um, contracts another electrician did this work, put this, it's a 30 amp, 240 volt main lug only panel. And what a main lug only panel is, is there's no main breaker inside there to shut everything down. 
the main breaker for this panel is actually inside the house. And so to turn it off, you have to go inside. Anyhow, I'm working live here and I'm hooking up this GFCI circuit breaker. And um, the way you hook up a GFCI circuit breaker is, as you can see, there's a neutral wire that comes off the breaker and that goes to the neutral bus by itself. And then the circuit neutral gets attached onto the circuit breaker neutral terminal. And then, of course, the hot terminal for the hot wire. And that's how you set up a, uh, a GFCI circuit breaker, if you didn't know that already. Identifying your circuits is required by the National Electric Code. Here I'm labeling the equipment so that the next person that needs to service this equipment is able to turn off the circuit breaker easily and know where it is to turn it off. And finally, what I'm doing here is I'm connecting what's known as the equipotential potential bonding grid. So this is a bond wire um, that attaches all the metal equipment around a swimming pool and being that this heater is a part of the swimming pool equipment, it's required to be bonded. So what I'm doing is I'm finding the existing equip potential bonding grid, and I'm using listed connectors to connect a new equip potential bonding grid wire to attach to the equipment to make this a safe and NEC compatible installation. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so that we know you're enjoying the content. It also helps us and people search for this video to learn what you've learned today. So please hit that like button, and we'll see you on the next video.